guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to, to episode 17 of his end of a bookworm, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh, see, after last week's episode, Fran is the only one that I can dead ass trust. I, I don't trust Gil, even though Gil, you know, he he's feeling a little a certain type of way because of the fact that he ain't get food. But the girl, oh hell, not nah, like mm -mm. that little child. Like honestly, mm, I couldn't. She'd be the one who I really want to kick out, like so bad. But Gil, I think right now, he's just a little hard to understand and there's going to be a point where we're going to understand him and that's going to be good i'm going to be excited about it but yeah fran's the only one i trust right now with my life with mine's life at the end of the day because he now finally understands because oh my god like having been no son last week literally get angry at him because of the fact that he was walking too fast and mine was trying her hardest to catch up oh my god my precious baby like I can't. So much. I love her. She deserves everything. I want this song on iTunes, damn it. It could be on iTunes. It could be on Apple Music as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a little strip. Yeah, people like her can be one, too. She sure is. I think it's fucked up. Kill. No, you do you. Oh, my God. He honestly deserved this. It's been a while. He need to get a butt feet. I'm sorry, this child. <laughs> no, he just needs to get a stern freaking talking to you because oh my god, this kid doesn't know what to, when to stop. Like, oh, mmm. Mm. So, he usually doesn't get food. Then, okay, fine. Go get yourself something to eat. 
that still gives you no right to pull her. Because of the bad disease, not getting any food. Well, okay. Why don't you try to uh, try talking to the high priestess and saying, allowing Gil to get food, even though you know you're not there. But then after that doesn't mean to be a little shit to her, you know, bitch. I mean, God. Yeah. Um, because of the fact is, I get that, but. It's fine. <laughs> really? <laughs> mm. And then it'd be easier for Gil to get something to eat, you know? She doesn't have to stay there every single day. Yeah, as his punishment. Basically. Food. Good. Then you won't be a little shit anymore, and I won't have to call you that anymore because I really don't like calling you that. It seems like it just needs to be dusted.
Why don't you guys check upstairs? Yeah, he's cleaning the second part. You did such a good job. Are you gonna cry? Don't cry. You just wanted someone to tell you that for such a long time. Mm -hmm. That's what you wanted the whole entire time. Oh my god! <laughs> you just wanna hug him! Oh my god! He's so cute now! Of course, you should be able to have different outfits when you're outside. It'd be nice. Mm -hmm. So then you're able to go out too. That's sweet that she's inviting them because then they don't have to stay there all the time. Gotcha. <laughs> Are you not hungry? Mm -hmm. Like a crate. Oh my god. <laughs> mm, it's okay. You're fine. Oh. Mm 
Mm. <laughs> so basically, you want to make an olive garden. I want pizza. Well, Dylan, you should have been doing your shit. I'm just saying. Well, honestly, that's not mine's fault. That's your fault. Mm -hmm. All right. You don't even look like you're crying. Do we count this as work? Thank you. I mean, honestly, you are a child. actually
the hell was that? I know that was the pizza, but who was eating the pizza? Was Gil or friend delivering it to someone? I don't because well, Dahlia wouldn't because Dahlia was there helping mine. So that must be the orphanage where no, not the orphanage, like somewhere where they just keep people who are just hard headed and don't like to work well with others. Maybe that's because the, they did mention in the episode, and that's sometimes where they have to go, and then yada yada. But finally, oh my god, it took. Only what two, three episodes for Gil to not be a little ish, and I'm so happy because oh my god, I love him now. He's so precious, and he understands the concept of if you don't work, you don't eat. I love the fact that he literally told Delia off too. Same thing with Brian, he did the same thing. Seeing him. And freaking go eat together with wine and where that was so cute. Like, oh my god, the show has such so many freaking cute moments. And I love the fact that Fran didn't ever know how to eat it. Oh my god, like he just loved them both so fucking much. Like, oh my god. I can't, I'm gonna cry. And then even with Dahlia and her fake tears versus her actual tears. Oh my god, but oh this episode was so good. Oh my god, I wasn't ready for all of this. Like, Jesus. <laughs> Is she the man close? Ah! Well, at least she's going to get some clothes. That's the good thing. I do love the fact that they're able to go out with her. It's sweet because they're in the cathedral like 24-7 every single day, 365 days in a year. And sometimes they maybe just don't get to see what's outside of the cathedral walls. They only re to really get to see what's inside. I mean, these are kids... And same thing with Fran, even though Fran's not really a kid anymore. Two kids and an adult who were living in the town square. And then eventually, because of the fact is, um, because of the fact that they didn't really choose a job and they just, you know, went into that, their lives were just already, you know, signed off for them and they can't really do anything else. But mine is different. She's not typically like your normal priest, high priest, high priestess whatever she's different and she's different in a good way she's setting her own boundaries and her own rules with this i love the fact that she gets her own area her own room so that not only she can go home and still be with her family she can still also live there but i don't think she's gonna be there living there like 24 7 i think when there are days where she's really tired and she doesn't have enough energy to go home she possibly might stay a night there but like can we talk about freaking gil the biggest thing that he's been wanting is someone to praise him and thank him. Like, oh my God, just seeing him get emotional about that. It's something that he's truly wanted. My guess is as, a, you know, growing up as a kid, he's like, like him, Dahlia and mine, they're all around the same age, I'm guessing. He's never really had a family member or someone tell him, thank you for doing this for me. Yada, yada, yada. You know, I love you. It's like that. And so... He retaliates. He lashes out at, like, everyone. But because mine is, you know, so sweet, kind, and gentle. And finally says the words that he's been wanting to hear for the longest time. He's now changed for the better. And I love that. And I love it. It's just so fucking cute. He's so just adorable. And I'm glad that he's sweet now. And same thing with Dahlia. I mean, I'm slowly warming up to her. Uh, warming up to her. But I still just want to know about that last little bit with someone eating the pizza. I'm glad she made pizza because that pizza looked good. I really want some pizza now. But uh, other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 17 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 18. Bye, guys.